This is the mosaic on Google Drawings information, the instructions for that assignment. First, I thought I would give you some information about what a mosaic is. A mosaic, um, in the typical sense, is a picture or pattern produced by arranging small pieces together. Oftentimes, it's made of glass or tile. You'll see these in places like pools or uh, maybe even um, churches or parks or things like that. Um, but what we're going to do is make them in Google Drawings. So what you would need to do is go to like your drive and then make a file new and then drawing. So it looks like this little box here with the circle and the square in it and you create a new drawing. I've got one going here, something I've been working on a little bit over time. The thing I did first was I put this black background in the very back so that I could kind of see when I take my picture away, I want my creases, the inside pieces, what would be the grout of the mosaic to be black. Whatever color you want it to be, put this background picture as that. That would be step one. Step two is then inserting the image that you want to make a mosaic from. If you want to wing it and you want to make your own mosaic and you have an idea of what you want it to be, absolutely go for it. But I like to have a little bit of guidance sometimes to help hone in my idea. So I uploaded a picture and I put it in here. The next thing, in order to make the pieces for our mosaic, you can kind of see I've got several of these different pieces already put in here. You will need this tool over here. And yours may look like whenever it starts off something like this. What you'll need to click on is the polyline. The polyline is going to give you this little arrow. And what you're going to do is you're going to start sectioning off pieces. However many times you click, we'll put a new section in your line. You'll want to make sure that you click back to the beginning and it'll make this complete shape. When you're done, you can select and you can fill. You can choose the color or you can create custom colors or if you have a color picker like I do, you can get the exact color that is underneath there. I'd have to move my thing, but you could get the exact color. Copy and paste it into my custom color. And then it would fill that color. Mm -hmm. Then when I need to draw another line, I could go back to my poly tool and I want to leave a little bit of space between each one. You can kind of make it as small or as big as you want. And every time you click back, it'll give you that shape. And you've decided, okay, I don't like it or there's something wrong with it. You can double click on it and move each of those little dots and you can exchange those and make it however you need it to be. If you want it to be smaller, you don't like where you put it, you can change all that stuff. And then when you're when all is said and done, what you can do is delete your picture and then your shapes are what's left. And that is how you make a mosaic. I feel like I probably skipped some information in there. So if this gets tricky and you're not quite sure what I'm talking about or what you need to do or you forgot a step, either go back in through this video or send me a uh, email or a message in classroom and I will try to answer those for you.